I'm here with dentist Jay Grossman. He's here to tell us about a mouthwash that can actually detect oral cancer. Also with us is his patient, Teresa. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So what do you have for us? So first of all, what do you do with an oral cancer screening? Sure. Well, when you go to the dentist, ideally what you're supposed to have done is a visual exam. So I would sit down with the patient. I would actually look and feel for any bumps, look for any lesions, look for areas that are bleeding. And in particular, I'd want to know from the patient if there are any sores that have not dissipated over the last 14 days. So what, what kind of other symptoms would you be looking for? Always looking for pain. Mm -hmm. Pain, and, and in particular, a sore that has not resolved itself within the past two weeks. If it goes past two weeks, that's usually our date of concern. And typically, patients should have this at least once a year, right? That is correct. But now you're doing something new, new and improved, that's added to your, uh, your regular screening. That's correct. So originally, I had to rely on my eyes. Mm -hmm. But what happens about those cells that are in the precancerous stage that haven't turned yet, the patient hasn't known about it yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, each year, about 34,000 Americans get oral cancer. Only half of them will be around five years later because by the time it's diagnosed, unfortunately, and, it's too late. And yet, if you catch it early, it's a treatable disease. So that's why it's so important to get your annual screenings. So tell us about the Visalite. Sure. Well, how this works is very simple. Teresa, would you take that, swish that around for 30 seconds. This is basically a vinegar-based product. Talk. What the vinegar does, it dries up the mouth. I'm gonna take this light that I just activated, and we're gonna put this in the mouth, and we're gonna actually take a look, and we're going to see if there's a lesion that literally lights up. So what color would you be looking for for something that's abnormal? I'd be looking for something that's white. Okay. It would literally light up like a Christmas tree. Teresa, go ahead. You could spit out that, and I'll take this from you. All right, let's take a look. Say, ah. Okay, and stick your tongue out for me. That's great. Perfect. So, fortunately, Teresa is a healthy young lady. No lesions. As we would expect. <laughs> and as I'm sure she's happy about. So, Jay, actually, you have a picture to show us to compare what a normal and what an abnormal test would look like. Tell we us do. about that. So, if you take a look, for example, at the top screen, that white lesion may be blended in to the natural coloring of the mouth. Once we use the Visalite product, it literally stains it blue. It's, it's popping up. And from that, I can now make a decision whether we actually should go ahead and biopsy it and see what it is or not. And the truth is, it's really just another great reason that everybody should go to their dentist on an annual basis, not just to take a look at cavities and gum disease, but for oral cancer and experience. And will, will no, most dentists be doing this for you? I certainly hope so. I certainly and encourage not, my dentists. And you dentist. should ask. Don't be afraid to ask, right? That is correct. All right. Thank you very much, both great. of you. Thank you.